Hey guys, in this video I'm going to be walking you through the process I took to make a ring design that I've been wanting to try out for a little while. Um, there's multiple ways to do it and this design turned out a little rough just because it's my first time so there's a few improvements you could make. Um, but I'll just show you the way I did it. So first you're just going to want to cut out a basic ring shape with carbon fiber. If you don't know what any of the tools are just check the description, I'll have links to everything down there. Next I'm just setting everything up on the drill press. So underneath I've just got this XY vise and that'll just help me get things set up a little easier. Um, you don't definitely need one but it just makes things a little handier. And then I've got that little rotary tool and that'll help me make accurate um, degree turns on the ring so I can get the holes spaced evenly. And then finally I've got an expanding ring mandrel on there. I'll have a link to all this stuff in the description if you want to check it out. And then I'm just putting the carbon fiber ring up on there and then drilling these little holes down into it. Now when you're picking which drill bit to use, just get the dimensions of the acrylic that you'll use. And then I recommend just doing the smallest size up that you have just because you want to leave enough room in there so that you don't have to wedge the acrylic down in there at all. Here I've got all the holes cut. It was a little tricky cutting these holes just because the drill bit was skating around a little bit. Next time I think I'll try to cut a groove around on the ring um, just to make it so that drill bit will get centered a little easier. Um, and next I'm just putting it up in the lathe and then just trimming down the outside diameter just to make things true and get it ready to cut the groove into it. So I'm just going slowly. Um, it's very fragile at this point so you're just going to want to take your time and make sure not to crack the ring or anything. And then I'm just going through all the grits of sandpaper and smoothing everything out. You're going to want to get this thing to the final polish before you add the acrylic to it just because you can't really polish it after that. So I'm just finishing up the polishing of the ring now and then we'll start adding the acrylic in there. Um, one thing I'll mention, um, I put the super glue on the acrylic rod and then just jammed it through the holes. I was hoping that the holes would be a little bit smaller just so less of the super glue would be able to get through um, but it ended up being big enough so that it ended up looking a little bit sloppy there's just a little too much glue in the middle where I didn't want any of the glue to be showing so next time I just take my time and add glue to each end just individually and now I'm just cutting all the little edges off Now I'm just sanding down each of the little acrylic rods just to get everything flush. And you can see almost done now. That's basically everything other than polishing. But now we're just going to want to take the sides through just a few stages of the sandpaper just to get rid of any scratches or anything I left with the Dremel and now I'm putting it up in the lathe chuck and then giving it a, a little bit of shaping just so it's more comfortable to wear and then polishing everything up. So now I'm just finishing up, got it all polished. I'll just wipe it off with a little bit of alcohol, make sure there isn't any debris stuck in there. And here you can see it all done. I think it turned out pretty cool. What I like about it is the way the fluorescent acrylic works. It absorbs all the light that's shown into it 
and then it bounces back within the walls of the acrylic itself and then shines out the edges. I'll show you in one of the photos that's coming up. You can kind of see it right there how it just goes right through but especially in this photo you can just kind of see how well it transfers the light through the material. Anyways that's pretty much it guys. I just want to say thanks for watching. I just want to say welcome to any new subscribers. We've had a ton of growth in this past month or two so I just want to say thanks for subscribing. Um, I'll be coming out with a lot more cool content so I hope you enjoy it and definitely be sure to leave any suggestions you have in the comments. I know there's quite a few things I could have done to improve on this design so if you have any ideas or anything just leave them down below. I'm pretty good at reading all of them and then I usually get back to you especially if you have any questions. So just let me know and then as far as things that I might change next time First of all, the carbon fiber I used in this was a little bit weird. I think it was a piece that didn't quite cure right. Um, so I think next time I'll just try using a different piece. And then I've got some ideas to do a glow one. Um, I don't know if you guys have heard of little tritium vials. If you haven't, look it up. Basically, it's a radioactive gas that they put in a little tube. Um, it's not harmful or anything, but it'll glow for, I think it's about 10 years before it'll stop glowing but it's just little vials full of this glowing gas and it makes a really cool effect especially at night where you can just see it glow up and then the final thing I might do is just to use a thicker piece of carbon fiber to begin with I just got some new material in so I might do another one just making a little bit thicker and that way I can just show a little bit more of that either acrylic rod or the tritium vials whatever I decide to go with so thanks for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you in the next one.